After exploring different continents with Dream Park, experiencing the Wild West with Western Adventure, and immersing yourself in the Peak District with Peak Park, it's now time to explore Italy in Adventura Italia. This is the first update for the park. You can see I've made the general island shape and I'm pretty happy with the shape. I think it'll stay like this, maybe grow a little bit in some places for certain rides. In the top right corner I've made the maintenance access, so this is a road that will be for like any trucks and um, maintenance vehicles that need to come into the park to perform work. I've also got like a bit of realism with the clearance signs and speed limit signs and the barriers on the sides. Down here, a little boat. Yeah, so like I said, quite happy with the shape of the island and the car park at the front of it as well. It's quite a large car park, it's the same on both sides. And then the zebra crossing to uh, get to the different walkways. So I've made it so once you park in, you can go onto these walkways to get to the park without having to walk over the actual roads. Uh, so this will be the footway entrance and I'm going to make these all into planters. This will be the security area where you uh, get your bags searched before you go over the bridge. And then into the actual park. So this will be the main plaza. I think you know, making some sort of centerpiece here, and it probably saw on the time lapse I've tried with these to make like it looks like an inbuilt bench so the guests can actually sit on it. I'll probably do that all around. And then I've put that there to kind of remind myself I want to make like a little cafe, maybe restaurant here. Could be like a takeaway coffee shop. 
a few tables outside it. So I'll uh, get back to you in a second update once I've developed this a bit more and added a bit more detail. Onto the second update now, so the main things I've done in this one is really built up the entrance area. So I've added this cool uh, beamed Mediterranean structure over the entrance with the security features and the metal detectors. I'm quite happy with the way this turned out, like creating the arc over the uh, centre, I quite like that. Then I've added a lot more detail to the main plaza over here, you can see adding the planters, the floor murals, most of the buildings and all the details on them. Quite a difficult task making all the buildings look so different to each other, but I really like the way it came out. They all look like quite unique. First building you come to is a lockers building, and then the uh, station where you buy the lockers from there as well, the customer service staff area. And there's the toilets with the wash fountains at the back. Uh, that would be a entrance to another themed area. Refreshment stand, a little seating area, and tomato takeaway, which is like a pizza place. I've added some more details on the rope, like ropes as well, and pieces of wood on the roofs, and then some uh, planters just on the side of the windows. Then there's the quite large Italian flag uh, banner that covers the distance between those two buildings. Create some nice patterns on the floor as well. A nice seating area outside the Friday ice cream building. 
again with the planters and then I've used like ivy and ropes to create the uh, cover for the seating area. So the next building here where I've made the entrance to the cove which is the next themed area and then started the gift shop as well which I'm going to go back and put a lot more detail into. And then onto the last building on this row, just on the other side of that large planter there is the port bar. There's a coffee shop and a drink shop inside there you can take your drinks and have them on the side of the port. Going to put some of the boats on the other side as well, just to add to a little bit of realism. And that's it. So, third update next. I'm just going to add in a lot more detail, and then this part will be finished. See you then. So this is the third and final update now with everything complete for episode one. I've finished the car park by adding all of the cars and foliage to make it look really realistic. Finished adding a lot more foliage as well onto the entrance and I've changed the texture of some of the land as well to add the sand as the closer you get to the water to make that more realistic. I added lights as, as you come over across the bridge, added the port by the side of the port bar. Better theme in there. A few more little details around the buildings. I've increased the size of the floor mural. I may go back at a later date in some of the other episodes and add more detail into that. But I think it's okay for the moment. You have to let me know in the comments. I've added another planter here just as you come out of the uh, main plaza towards whatever themed areas will be over here. It's a little continuation of the plaza. And then I've finished the interior of the gift shop as well. So we've added all the detail there and all the books and boxes and everything in between clothes. And that's it. That is episode one completed. Mm -hmm.